Hi beautiful people, welcome to Cooking from the Food Bank, Cooking from the Food Bank. We're going to do something really hearty and comforting. Anyway, we're going to make this easy, I won't say quick, but easy. And we start with oxtails, y'all. We making oxtails, we making oxtails. <laughs> and in the oxtails, we're going to use a beef stock when you can get the unsalted. The unsalted is the best. Onion, garlic, thyme. Mm. Now remember, if you don't have fresh herbs, you can always use the dry. So it would be fresh thyme or dry thyme. Parsley or dried parsley. I'm gonna use actually both. Carrots, fresh basil, celery, our trifecta, right? But yeah, it's always onions, celery, carrots. We always get in our food bank bag or our community grocery bag. Or I've been picking up food from the pantry at Burger Tea. Um, any of those, you'll get your basic carrots celery and onions i call that i trifecta french call it merpois <laughs> anyway so we've got all our fresh um veggies from the food bank we've got um these we actually picked with the um, opportunity for all interns we picked these beautiful peppers go to rinse out oxtails and sink right back Important to clean these really well. I like I usually use a uh, white vinegar, but um, with beef, I like using lemon. Actually, we'll let that sit for a few minutes and then we'll come back and rinse them off. I just like trimming some of the fat. Of course, oxtails are fatty. And I'm going to show you a trick. Uh, oxtails, I'm going to say, takes actually two days. Uh, one day to actually cook them and simmer them or slow cook them. And then another day to cool them off in the refrigerator. So you can literally just take off the big layer of fat. And once again, I use no salt, no salt, no salt. Just a little dusting. This is gonna help thicken up the, um, the gravy. Just a little bit. We'll let this sit and saute the veggies to the stove, to the stove. For the peppers and the onions and the garlic. Remember, there's always a separate board for that. I've got um, some new really thin boards. All right, let's start with the onion. This is kind of an old onion I got from the food bank. I know it's still good, but I'd like to show you that um, with fruits and vegetables, I didn't have this in the refrigerator, I had it sitting out, that you literally can still just cut off the um, rotten part, I'm going to rinse that off, and we can still use it. That's a good thing with fruits and vegetables, you can cut off the, the part that's old and you can use the good part. Crushed um, Trader Joe's crushed garlic. You just pop each one of these in the clove. Um, I really like these type of shortcuts, and this is the best. Chopped garlic. We also have a jalapeno that we picked from um, Pollinate Farms. Thank you. I feel inspired. 
think I've decided I'm going to just put the the um, time in whole, maybe about that much. And I'll just chop up, I'll just put the basil in whole also. <laughs> Want some dry parsley. And we've got the onions. And the celery. And the carrots. Alright, now we go to the stove, saute everything with a little bit of EVOO. And go to the stove, to the stove. Okay, I've got my big old stock pot, my gumbo pot. <laughs> I love this pot. This is a non-stick one, and I'm still gonna put a little bit of EVOO. Extra virgin olive oil. Because remember, we're gonna actually boil this for hours. Hours! So we got that. A little extra olive, extra virgin olive oil. We want to cover this whole bottom because we want to just brown the oxtails. And so now we're going to bring all this deliciousness to a boil. Mmm. Yeah, I wish you could smell this. I wish you could smell it. Mmm, 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 mmm. To me, it already looks delicious. I'm gonna cap this off with water so it's all the way to the top. I like lots of gravy. Lots of gravy. Bring this to a boil, cover, and simmer. So we're turning that down to simmer. Mmm, y'all, this smells so good. And remember, no salt. There has been no salt. Mmm, look at that. Oh, so good. It's only two and a half hours. I think it, these big ones have at least two more hours to go. But we're going to take those little ones out. There's one, there's one. Oh, it's not too bad. It's not falling off the bone. All right, back to doing your magic. Woo, okay y'all, it has been a total of three and a half hours. Mmm, y'all, look at that, look at that, look at that y'all, look at that, it's beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna take out the big oxtails. This simmer a little bit more to get a little thicker and then we'll drain it and then we'll put in the refrigerator and let the fat get hard so we can pop it off. All right, be back, be back, bye, bye. 
Okay, so I left the gravy and the sauce um, cool off, and now I'm going to strain it. I'm just smushing all that goodness. Smooth. So the only thing now is it has a lot of grease, a lot of fat from those fatty oxtails. So now I'm going to put in the refrigerator and guess what's going to happen. You can do one or two things. They never work for me, but they have those separators. You pour all the gravy in there and it separates the, um, the fat. That never worked for me, so I'm going to put a lid on this, put this in the refrigerator along with the oxtail. I'll put those in the refrigerator also. All right, and we'll let it get cold enough so we just take the fat right off the top. All right, see you overnight. Bye, bye. This is day one. So we cover this and all right, to the refrigerator. See you tomorrow. Bye. Day two is coming up. Day one, all the hard work's done. All right, bye. Okay, hey y'all, this has been sitting in the refrigerator overnight. Are you ready? Are you ready to see it? This is just the oxtail gravy. Just the oxtail gravy. Remember, I took the oxtails out. You ready? Overnight. Let's see what happened. <gasps> exactly what I wanted, y'all. Exactly what I wanted. All that fat is nice and hard. And I should just be able to, let's see. I should be able to just lift it. <gasps> Look at that. Make sure I just get that top layer. Look at all that fat. See, that's what I mean by it's a two-day process. Just so that you can remove all of that beef fat from the oxtails. Oh, y'all, isn't this just the best secret in the whole wide world? The only thing is you just have to do it a day in advance. Now... Look at that. Look at that. That's nothing but flavor and gravy. <laughs> it is going down. It is going down. Ooh, look at that gravy, y'all. Ooh, look at those oxtails fall off the bone. We did it, y'all. We did it, y'all. We did it. All right. It's time! Alright, so here's the rice. Oh, y'all, I wish I could tell you how good it tastes with a little bit of that jerk and some black eyed peas. You see the black eyed peas, y'all? I cannot tell you how great it is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, what you talking about? Yeah, look at that. If that is not the best oxtail looking two-day process we did this y'all using the vegetables from the food bank the rice from the food bank I just fixed some uh, black eyed peas added that in there add a little bit of jerk into the rice so good a little bit of thyme and then the depth of this gravy though y'all what are you talking about and those oxtails we removed the fat mm, 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 mm. what you talking about okay here we go you know what time it is? What time is it? What time is it? See y'all, it's fall off the bone, but at least you have to take it off the bone. You know what I mean? It's so tender. Woo! Come on now. Come on now. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> what do I do? Okay, wait. One, two, three. Here we go. <laughs> This just right. Can you see this? One, two, three. One, two, three, y'all. I'm gonna put the whole thing in my mouth. The whole thing in my mouth. Come on, come on. Whole thing in my mouth. 
One, two, three. Clean bone club, y'all. Clean bone club. All right, y'all. We did this. Comfort food max. Comfort food to the max, y'all. Oxtail. Let's just call this oxtail stew with um, jerk rice and black eyed peas. Come on now. Come on now. You know what? I need a cornbread muffin. That's where I'll fix some cornbread muffin. Eat well. Stay comforted. This reminds me of my mom. She didn't make it like this. She made it with the, the tomato base, but... Bye, y'all. Bye. Love you. Eat well. Stay comforted. Be safe. Love you. Enjoy September. It's the fall. Fall comfort. Just for you. Bye. Bye. Love you. Love you. Bye.